Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I thought I'd post a few videos. There's hundreds of them um, about cutting curbs, coring the curb, um, pop-ups versus curbs, uh, drilling the hole. So you can really understand you know, why it's important to drill or V-cut your curb. You know, you do need a permit. And the reason that you need a permit is because so many small companies and homeowners as well come out they take a big six or nine pound sledge and they whack at that curb and they break it all up and of course the city does not like this at all um, but if you do it right you'll have no problem a permit usually runs between 25 and 50 dollars i saw some comment said 500 dollars for a permit maybe that's true but that's pretty extreme the city wants you to be able to solve problems um, permits are not a big deal you just have to go downtown and pull them but take a look I've got hundreds of videos on how to cut the curb um, we do it every day um, we'd, we'd also put pop-ups in it really depends on your application but putting the pop-up in is very important if you're going to do that place it in the proper spot usually people put it you know behind the sidewalk before it gets to the curb and water will just flood your sidewalk people talk about freezing my gosh that water floods across your walk constantly um, but yeah sometimes you do have to do that it's all good there's tons of information out there everybody's doing a great job all these companies are putting videos up there now and thank you google um, you know, luckily maybe I've started before everybody and I have six or seven hundred videos up there but wow there's a lot of information out there and you're welcome to pick apart my videos I think that's great stuff uh, I kind of want to say sometimes is hey is that what you got out of that video but it's all good hey take a look at these things hopefully they help you out what's the best discharge for the downspout drain is it a pop-up emitter or is it a curb hole through the curb? Okay, so some of the problems with a pop-up, you can see here's the water, and basically it works great. We just, we're running water through here. You can see there's the pop-up lid, but you lose fall. And as we come back here to the back, you can see a very level line. So what we're going to do is what we always suggest and recommend is we're going to drill a curb hole through the curb. So the first thing you do is you go ahead and cut your sod off. We're going to excavate this area and then we'll set up our Bosch hammer drill and we'll go ahead and core that curb. During big rains, that water is overflowing at the downspouts, right at the bottom where the downspout comes down and enters the pipe. By coring this curb, we are achieving three or four more inches of fall, and that will stop that from overflowing in the back. Okay, take a little break here so you can see how clean of a hole a core a hammer drill with a diamond core bit can make. Really nice. We're about halfway through, and we just need to keep on going. This takes, this is a pretty wide curb. It's about six and a half inches. This takes probably about an hour altogether, and um, it is a little bit demanding. You know, you gotta keep pushing on the hammer drill, but what a neat tool. Diamond core bits, and you can see the grooves to help pull the debris out, you know, the waste. This is the concrete it's pulling out, and it just goes right through there like butter. Well, you know what I mean. This video is one of the most controversial videos that we put up on YouTube, because we get so many comments about Oh, you're not allowed to do this and you can't do that. We have to keep the water on our property, but take a look. So we just popped through. You can see that water coming out and dropping over here as well. <clears throat> yeah, we're all the way through it. So let's go ahead and pull our saw or our hammer drill out. And you can see that water just pour out of there. So we've gained about three inches of fall by putting a curb hole in. Next, we'll go ahead and take this pop-up off. Remember, the pop-up, you can see it. It's a 90 degree turn and you lose four inches of fall immediately. So if you've got a really level yard, like this one, and the drains are set around behind the corner there, I mean, they're down a foot from this little rise we see, that line is so level as it comes out, you really need to come out through to the curb. 
So I've taken off the old pop-up and you can see, I mean, what a difference, what a difference it makes to have a hole through your curb to bring it down just three or four inches. I mean, the water just pours out of here. And whereas before, the half the line was filled with water. Now that line is completely empty and draining all the way out to the curb. Okay, so we've been secured our insert into the ADS and you can see it comes right out into the curb. If you look through there, it's dark in there, but somewhere in there, there's the insert. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cover this up and we're done. Okay, so here's the curb hole. Beautiful little three and a half inch curb hole. It's going to accept that four inch pipe. It just reduces a little bit. Doesn't hurt the flow at all. And remember, there used to be a pop up over there, all gone. Now it comes out through the curb hole. And what a difference it made. I mean, the, the line is completely dry when you run water in it. It does not fill up half ways. It doesn't fill up a quarter of the ways. It comes straight out here to the street. Realize that you'll never beat Mother Nature, but wow, what a difference. The next example is when you have the sidewalk that comes right up to the curb. And this is very common as you get downtown or close to downtown in most cities. So basically, we need to use the concrete saw and cut across the sidewalk first. Can you see the two lines that we've already cut? Next, we're going to use the pry bar. And if you do this right, you'll see that with just a couple of hits on that concrete, we'll be able to pry this right out of here. It is really that simple. Wiggle, pry, pull out that first piece, and then you'll easily be able to remove the remaining concrete of the sidewalk. Again, just one hit, and this sidewalk will crack. Watch. Look at that. It cracked so easily. The secret is to use your concrete saw and cut clean through the sidewalk. You can see it's only three inches thick, and that concrete saw will cut that like butter. Remove the rest of this concrete because you're going to need to either trench or lay your pipe down through where you've removed the sidewalk. Then we'll be able to core the curb. And again, this is in a very level yard. We need to have more fall. A pop-up right before this walk, you just lost all the fall that you tried to achieve by digging that long trench and putting the pop-up there. It just doesn't work right. Once you've removed all that concrete, you can see now we've got really good run and we'll be able to go right through this curb and achieve much more fall using our Bosch hammer drill. And you can see where we're putting this. It's just an inch above the, the gutter. We don't want the gutter water to come back into our system, but we want our line to be able to drain out into the street. So remember, this is where the sidewalk actually is poured right up against the curb. We had to remove a section of the sidewalk, and then we can run the Bosch hammer drill to get the curb hole and get much more fall than using a pop-up. It really doesn't take long to do. It probably took about an hour altogether to cut that concrete and to core this curb. We are going to run PVC underneath of that section of, of sidewalk and concrete all of that back together. When it's put back, it'll look brand new. Remember that concrete does dry extremely white, so you'll be able to tell somebody has cut through the walk. But other than that, this, this job is the way to go. If you need to achieve more fall in a flat level yard, do not use a pop-up. Bring that water all the way out to the street. Go through the curb. It is by far the best way for you to get your water out to the street. There's a completed hole. You can see the core inside of the core bit. You just tap that loose and it comes right out. And you can see that water flowing through there much better. If you had a pop-up, you'd have lost that fall. So here's an entire city, an entire county that has curb holes. This is in Columbus, Ohio. This is actually in Canal Winchester, which is a suburb of Columbus. But all of Franklin County and the surrounding cities have curb holes and that's where the water's supposed to go and i kind of want to make that rant 
It's like, is Columbus, Ohio, the only city in America that knows how to do this properly? Every home, you see this? This is a sump pump line. The downspouts are also connected to this line, but there's curb holes on every house. Everywhere you look, there's curb holes and it's, they look great. They're not doing any damage. It doesn't freeze in the winter time. The water drains down to the storm drains. This is the way it's supposed to be. This curb hole is actually connected to the downspouts and the sump pump. Watch what happens as that sump pump kicks on. It comes straight out to the street. If you had a pop up there, this would just erode behind the curb between the walk and the curb, and it would not function properly. You can achieve so much more fall by sending this all the way out. Yes, you might need to tunnel that sidewalk or cut the walk, um, but send it all the way out to the street. You can see here's a downspout drain, and there's also a sump pump and a downspout drain here in the back. And these are all connected. Some people ask, how many downspouts can you hook to the line? Well, this is three inch line and you could hook up three, four, even five downspouts to that pipe. The three inch is more than enough to, to handle that water. We like to run four inch, but you could run three inch and save a little bit more money. Again, downspout drains come straight out to the street. Sump pumps come straight out to the street. And yeah, you can see there's a little bit of algae there. Um, this, this, this pump runs about every three, four minutes. There's no way that you're going to stop the algae unless you come out there and clean the street. But this is where they're supposed to go. And again, look at all this water that goes down to the storm drain through this gutter system where it belongs, where it's supposed to go. And again, another great example. Let's take a look at this house. You see the downspout drain. 3-inch PVC downspout drain, 3-inch PVC downspout drain. And can you see the sump pump? It's connected to the same line. All of this water runs out to the street where it belongs to the curb holes. The entire neighborhood is exactly the same. Sump pumps go straight down into the ground. They tie into the downspout drain and they run out to the street. They go under the walk and all the way to a curb hole. And you can see there is fall in this yard, plenty of it. If you put a pop up here before the walk, it will freeze and that walk becomes a hazard. It also erodes the sidewalk if you have a pop up there. Better, much better, send this water out to the street where it belongs. The entire city, the entire county Look at these, there's curb holes on every home, and this is the way it's supposed to be. Now, granted, there are places in the country that don't have a square curb, or maybe they have a swale, but a lot of places have what's called a half round curb. And these are a little bit more difficult, but again, you can do this, and the city will help you do this. If you know how to make the half round cut, you'll be able to achieve much better fall than the pop-up. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are going to work on solving one of the hardest problems that there is in the rainwater drainage industry, and that is water being trapped between the sidewalk and the curb. So on each one of these expansion joints, can you see them right here? Water is getting trapped between that sidewalk and this curb. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut these little tiny V cuts down through this expansion to help that water drain out of this area. And if that works, this entire yard, which is really soggy, is gonna dry out. So you might be asking, why don't we use the core drill? Here, if you look at that, I mean, you're gonna go down, even if we had a longer pilot coming through here, it's just gonna chape all this up and we're not gonna achieve a curb hole at all. So that's why we don't use the Bosch for this particular type of half round curb. So again, with these core bits, 
when we drill through a curve, we start on this side and we go through to the soil. We don't come this way because when it comes out, it's just going to shatter this area. I mean, it would just look so bad. When we drill a straight curb, we're able to achieve that because we've got a good pilot, good carbide diamond teeth, and it'll pound right through there. It rotates and pounds and goes all the way through. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of cut some sod here. Then we're just going to dig down to the back side of the curb. There is a terrible hard pan down below this, not allowing the water to drain naturally down underground. We need to make a V-cut. We're going to use the concrete saw, and look how easy this really is to do, and how nice it looks when we're finished. You start by cutting across the expansion. There is concrete between that expansion that needs to be cut. Next, we're just going to make a small, about an inch, inch and a half wide cut, it comes at a small angle. We cut right down through that until they meet together at the gutter. Then we're going to use the pry bar and just pop it right out of there. So we got <laughs> so we have a really nice V cut okay, and yeah. I've got Scott the homeowner out here too. I'm gonna to explain to him real quick what happened and what I see going on. You're not in the camera, so don't worry. Um, but down here, let me just reach in here. You see this? This is solid. It, I mean, as soon as I dug down there, we hit water. And that, when you kick the sprinklers on or when it rains, I mean, it's like a hard pan of concrete down there. Okay. Water cannot get through there. I thought maybe there was a footer tile. That's why I, I dug it deeper. But it's just the backfill they brought in here, it's just rock hard. And this will allow that water, just as you saw before, to come out. Okay. So on this, on this cut right here, you see where it's been chiseled? This is from the homeowner. He wanted to test it himself because he was, wasn't sure if my idea would work. So he came out here with a cold chisel and a hammer and he just broke a little bit of that curb off. And you know what? He said the water just poured out of here. And this area here, when he runs the sprinklers now, it's dry. It works good. So I know that as we make this cut down here, so it's going to So on this cut, work. because he chiseled it, I went a little bit wider. Kind of missed it down here at the end, but I'll bet you it pops right out. Chuck, put that primer on this side. Come stand straight at it, side of it, over here. And let's just hit it real hard one time. Get down in the middle. One more time. Uh, there we go. So it looks like we need to clean that out. There it goes, perfect, good. And that's the basics of making a V-cut in the half round curb. You know, nobody else does that. All these other companies they don't even they don't even core the curb, let alone try to do something in a half V. This is a half round uh, curb, and we figured that out I don't know 25 years ago up in Charlotte. Let's just put the let's just put it to the test here. You can see the water coming here on the ground, and let's just see if it comes through that curb hole. You can clearly see this water now has a place to go. You'll see it come right out through that sod, through the soil, into the curb cut that we made, and it drains right out to the gutter. So here's the curb hole, or the curb cuts, and you can see I'm just driving slow. They just look like regular expansions. And if you guys do this right, this is how it'll look. And you're not gonna have any problem City, the county they're gonna love you they will give you permits in the future that's for you contractors look at that this is the NDS pop-up and they're about 15 bucks 
they work pretty good. They've got a little hole down there in the bottom to let the water drain out. That's pretty much for when you're up north, you know, so that it doesn't freeze. It'll eventually drain out of the system. The pop-up, if you look inside of it, as water comes down the line, it'll push this pop-up up and it'll dispense the water all around this area. It's basically just an, a four inch 90 degree turn and this is thin wall. Remember, this does not work with schedule 40. So the pop-up goes on the top. Make sure that your hole's pointing down and you just slide it on. We wanna make sure that we're just below, just below the top of the finished grade so that when we backfill, that this will be, the sod will be right here, right underneath of it or right beside it. And as the water comes down the line, It'll pull this pop-up up, up and it'll just disperse through the area. Notice that we're on a hill and I've got a little bit of a trench here uh, for that water to drain out. I'll backfill some of that, but this is a swale. So we want that water to drain down into the swale. Just a little bit of a trench will be fine. And that's the basics of your pop-up. So there's a couple ways you can do this. One is to get this insert. And it's also made by ADS, it's ADS product, and it's got barbs on it. And when you slide this into the corrugated pipe, it'll get tight. And there's just virtually no way you're gonna pull that out of there. But it also slides into this pipe, thin wall, and makes a very secure fitting. So now we can set that down in. I know this is PVC, I'm just showing you. <laughs> and we can take our and you can take your pop-up, set it on the top, and you're all set. Backfill it. Again, we want this just below the top of the sod so that we can backfill around the area. So that's how you would hook up corrugated if you're yarning corrugated. Remember, corrugated works really good. Nothing wrong with it. So another fitting, you can see this, also made by ADS. And this has got the barb here at the top. Can you see it? This will go on to the corrugated pipe. Notice how it's tapered and it's for different sizes of pipe. So we can take the pop-up and you'll see it, it's tight. See how it's gonna fit right there? It makes a very tight fitting, very tight fitting. And this piece will snap onto your corrugated pipe. You can set that back down in your trench, set your pop-up on there, backfill the same, same way. Remember, this is just below the sod, just below the sod. So there's two different ways that you could put onto the corrugated. NDS pop-ups, four inch 90. It has a pre-drilled slot here at the bottom. Little cap that pops on the top. We're going to cut this to length. And basically we're going to attach this four inch pipe to the NDS 90. And you notice it doesn't fit, right? right. So we've got to make an adjustment. So you notice that this is a PVC fitting, thin wall PVC, and it does not fit the corrugated pipe. There are truly 20 or 30 different types of adapters and they all work really good. What we're going to do is use this section of this adapter. It's got some little barbs in here and it's going to snap into place. Very secure, very secure, will not come off. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and just push our 90 onto this adapter and we're all done. It's set. We'll go ahead and set this to grade and backfill. And that's how simple it is to put a pop-up on. It's, it's not difficult at all. And whether you use this adapter or several other adapters, they all work great. So you can see, I basically just cut the sod around the whole pipe, backfilled underneath of it. It's nice and secure. Remember, it has already has a slot cut in it in that 90 to let the water drain. So as water comes down the line, it pushes up this pop-up, whoops, get my finger down under there, <laughs> pushes this pop-up up, and the water disperses 
just right across the yard really simple and don't be fooled Th these things are readily available so much easier to get these at home depot depot or at lowe's either one ace they're everywhere and i think they're about 15 bucks there's other options i've showed you many other options of how you can do this and you can see we've got this all put up this line goes all the way up to that downspout through all of the bushes so a couple of quick notes if you're using a pop-up in a level yard you are going to lose fall much better is to discharge to the curb and core the curb the way it's supposed to be also how many downspouts can you attach to this line? Well, I showed you those homes there in Columbus, Ohio with three inch pipe. You can attach three, four, five, even six lines, even six downspouts to this pipe and it's going to work just fine. Just don't forget the pop-up loses fall in a level yard. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. It's on. Hey, I'm Chuck with Apple Drains. It's Saturday morning. It's on. Live help. Check the description box below for all the information on how to join the live help session. And the topic is rainwater drainage. We're going to talk about everything, all of your problems, whether it be a French drain, a yard drain, downspout drain, basement, exterior, crawl space, channel drains. I can answer all your questions.